Today we'll show you how to get started with your new SBC4. The SBC is an embedded computer that runs Debian Linux. You can use this to untether from your desktop or laptop and run your fidgets programs anywhere. Let's start with what's new about the SBC4. The first thing you'll notice is that it comes with a built-in Vint Hub. This will allow you to connect to all of your smart Vint devices and you can also use these ports as digital inputs, digital outputs, and analog inputs. Next, there's a new HDMI port as well as a microSD card slot. The SBC4 comes with a 16 gig microSD card that has the operating system as well as the fidget drivers pre-installed. You can use the HDMI port to connect your SBC to a monitor and use it like any other Linux computer. There are also three high-speed USB ports as well as an ethernet port and a power jack. To start, we'll first plug in an ethernet cable to the ethernet port. Next, we'll take one of our USB fidgets and plug it into one of the USB ports. Next, we'll connect one of our Vint devices to the built-in Vint hub. And finally, we'll connect power. The red LED indicates that the SBC is receiving power. The green LED is now lit up, which indicates that the SBC has finished booting and we can start working with it. After the SBC is booted, we can look for it using the fidget control panel. If you navigate to the fidget SBCs tab, you can find it under its default host name, which is fidget SBC. If you have multiple SBCs, you can differentiate between them by looking at the MAC address. By double clicking on the SBC, the SBC web interface will open. The first time you open the SBC web interface, you'll be asked to enter a password. This is a system-wide password, so make sure you remember it. For future logins, you'll use the admin account. When logging in using the terminal or SSH, you'll use root. After entering a password, there's a few things that you should do. Let's start by clicking on the Systems tab. Here you can change the name of your SBC and adjust the time zone. Next, we can go to the Packages tab. Here you can keep your SBC up to date with the newest packages available. I'll make sure to include the full Debian repo and click on the Refresh Available Packages button. After refreshing your available packages, you can upgrade them by clicking on the Upgrade All Packages button. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Next, we'll go to the Network tab and then to Settings. Here you can enable SSH, which will allow you to remotely access the terminal. Finally, I'll go to the Fidgets tab and then to the Control Panel. This new feature allows you to view which fidgets are connected to your SBC. I can navigate to the fidget I want and then double click on it to launch an example. Here I've launched the example for the touch wheel fidget and the fidget RFID. Thanks for watching this video on the fidget SBC4. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. For more information, please visit our website.